Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, for months, 17 regions representing all 92 Indiana counties prepared proposals and positioned themselves for a share of $500 million in grants from the state's Regional Economic Acceleration and Development Initiative, better known as READY. And this week, the hard work paid off. The Indiana Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors approving grants touching every corner of the state to support regional development plans. Now, five regions, Northeast, North, Northwest, Southwest, and Southeast, each received the maximum $50 million. The total request tripled the allocated $500 million ready budget, as submissions from the 17 regions amounted to more than a billion and a half dollars worth of demand, representing nearly 800 projects that in total could have a potential overall investment of more than $15 billion. With more now on what some of the regions plan to do with that money, and uh, there are some very ambitious plans. I'm pleased to welcome to the show Executive Director of the Dean and Barbara White Foundation and Ready Review Committee member. Bill Hanna. Bill, welcome to the show as always. Hi, Gary. Thank you. Glad you, to be here. You were on the committee, but you're also uniquely positioned uh, to, to talk about this because for years you headed the Northwest Indiana Regional Development Authority, very intimately involved in things in Northwest Indiana. Uh, give us an idea for folks who might know, uh, not, not, not know how substantial this Ready uh, Grant program is is $500 million, $50 million yeah. to five different regions and, and tens of millions to sure. others. How, how important is this? Yeah, it's extremely important. It's, it's a, a strategic importance in a sense. I mean, $500 million is a lot of money, but when you put the leverage in there, it's so much more. And then you talk about collaborative efforts and what it ends up being is you have 17 areas that have gotten together and mapped out what their strengths are, their weaknesses, how to make improvements and really market themselves. And so at the end of the day, um, we really have a strategic plan for economic growth for the state of Indiana that has money behind it, partners that are willing to invest in it, and there's leverage that exists. And so it, it becomes an implementation instead of just a, a plan sitting on a shelf. Yeah, well, you talk about collaboration because over the years, it's not necessarily been a strength of Indiana regions participating and collaborating together. This really changes that and, and changes the, the dynamics. So you have these regions working together and actually planning with specific plans and projects specific to their regions. Yeah, absolutely. And the partnerships represented within were in all levels, whether it was local elected officials, uh, state and, and local universities, private business, and on and on and on. Um, so to see them really get around a table together and do the hard work of creating their own projects and deciding here's where we're going to go as a region. We're going to bring this to the state and make the pitch and talk about return on investment, population growth, and improvement. Um, is really uh, it's really um, unprecedented in the state of Indiana and very impressive. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about a couple of uh, regions here in central Indiana, uh, really focused on the White River, embracing the river uh, with, with outdoor activities that really, really hits on that quality of life, quality of place, talent attraction piece. Yeah, it's, it's so critical. You know, if you look around the country at very successful areas that attract, you, you know, especially young, younger populations, professionals and so forth, a lot of times they'll key off of natural resources. And, and we certainly have one right there in the center of our own state. And I think Indianapolis can compete with Austin, Nashville or, and anywhere else. We have a lot of assets. We're affordable. But when you see these communities get together around the Donut County area and focus on that one asset and making improvements, I think, um, you know, to try to understand what that's going to do for us is, uh, it, it's really priceless, and it'll take years to kind of see that unfold. And I think um, it's really going to position the entire state uh, to be successful. Yeah, now closer to home, where you're very familiar with uh, Northwest Indiana, uh, $50 million award for that region, very ambitious plans uh, focused on enhancing quality of life in the region. There's even talk of a, a quantum computing uh, corridor up there. Talk about, uh, I know a lot of excitement. I was at the event and talked to folks from Northwest Indiana, very excited about the future. Talk about that proposal and how these projects might change things in Northwest Indiana. Yeah, so, you know, we, we have seen, uh, like, like the rest of the state in a lot of ways, the, the benefit of favorable tax environment. And a lot of times it was business that we would talk about initially. Now it's people. Uh, they're taking advantage of it. And so in our case, they're coming over from Illinois. And quality of life features are becoming more and more important. The connectivity to the South Shore is happening. And so these projects take us to the next level and really make us a premier opportunity as a suburban choice uh, for the third largest economy in the country. And it's just an example, again, of... Um, when you take the low taxes, you have a strategic outlook and some finances put behind it 
um, in this collaboration what you can actually achieve. And, I, and so we're already having um, many responses from uh, real estate brokers, developers, and other things. And so uh, it's just really exciting to see this play out and um, uh, to really be able to feel it um, in, in such a real way. Yeah, I only have about 20 seconds left, Bill, but as you were telling me off camera, uh, this, in your view, represents the start, or really. Uh, a lot of big projects, but really kind of laying the groundwork for what could be a really long-term kind of collaboration and partnership in regions around the state and doing more and additional projects. Right, so when Governor Holcomb uh, first took office and he talked about his strategic pillars, I mean, population growth was always there. And this is the materialization of that. I think his partnership with the General Assembly is just starting. So this is a new chapter for Indiana and I think the way that we run government and how we look at the economy. So uh, I think you'll see this continue in the future. Very good. Bill Hanna, Executive Director of the Dean and Barbara White Foundation on the committee, uh, Selection Committee for the Ready Grants. Bill, great perspective as always. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Gary. You too. All right.